YouTube Nation, it's Matt Kenny Course. Welcome to a special edition of Time Travel. Wow, is that cool? The thing is, guys, is we are actually going to talk about time travel. And this is actually something that I have a passion for. I really love doing time travel talks. Um, I enjoy it. And I would have been a great, I, I think, a great movie producer. I would have been a great script writer, you know, whatnot. If my English, my English was better, I probably would have been able to pass. I mean, I can still pass, but with probably like C's, B's, you know, um, you know, skate by. I'm not going to skate by is to get, you know, um, I love it. You know, I love the creation of movies. I love the buildup of movies. I love the characterization, how a character develops. I love the plot, the problem, the solution. Um, you know, all the resolution, all that stuff, and the climax, and all that stuff, and um, obviously a little bit of a geek, okay? We know that. But the thing is, though, is that when we look at the grand scheme of movies, when we look at life, you know, time travel, all that stuff, so we have to get one thing straight, right? And that is that time travel really can never exist, okay? It's really sad, but time travel, my friends, cannot exist. Um, all you math nerds out there for calculus does not exist. So does not exist is a big part in calculus for limits. Okay. Does not exist. So time travel, right? I'm not asking you the what of time travel. I'm not asking you, you know, what can we do for it to exist? Because we already know what you have to do. You have to travel, okay, faster than the speed of light. Okay, so if, um, oh, that's what I missed. So then versus then. So then versus then. So many people miss that for common English language. I made a video about a half hour ago going over the common misspelled words in American language, in, uh, in the English language. Then versus then, are versus are, you know, they, their, there, there, and then the last one was it's for six. I can't believe that I missed this one. That one's the most common one, actually. But anyway, right? I'm not asking you guys about the what of time travel because it, it's literally impossible. You know, it does not exist. Literally, you know, I don't care what you do. You know, Einstein says true. It cool, cool. If we travel faster than the speed of light, and even if you do travel so fast, what are you going to do? Time travel five seconds in the future? It's not possible at all. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is explaining some common things that I see in time travel movies. So again, I would have loved to be a movie producer. Okay. I would have loved to sit and build characters and go through and you know, you know let them develop, okay? And create a whole time travel plot. But again, it's really hard to make it in the movie producing world. It's just like being a sports management major. What are you going to do? Be the agent of the, be be the agent of the next I mean, my trout the agent of the next Saquon Barkley or Elliott or Tom Brady, Rogers, okay, LeBron James. I mean, God, we Curry. You know, I mean, yeah, you have a chance. But I'm gonna go with my passion. I have two passions in life: movies, teaching. I'll do teaching. Played it safe. You know, go big or go home, Matt. Go big or go home. Dream big. You know, you should have went for the movie production business. But again, it's kind of like making the majors. So, you know, no no doors are closed forever. Plus, I can still have a high school club, a high school club where I'm a teacher and I have a club about movies. We can still discuss. So it's still a win-win. I teach and do movies, see? And I can coach the weekends off, summers off, holidays off, guaranteed. Uh, great hours, dinner, lunch, guaranteed. Um, just priceless. Um, Screen break, you know, I, I, I like being a teacher. I think it's gonna be fun, okay? Now, time travel. There's one part about time travel that just gets me. 
it gets me. This right here is gonna blow everyone's mind. It's literally gonna make you change the way you view, okay? Every single time travel movie you watch ever. So from this date forward, let's say you watch this video at Thursday, September 26th. So from September 26th, 2019, going forward, you should view time travel different. When we watch a movie, we always have a group of kids. Mike, Sal, Gary, Steve. Okay, and then there's always a mentor, okay? For Back to the Future, it was Doc. For some movies, it's like a teacher or a scientist, the guy that knows it all, right? Um, for Private Almanac, it was his dad um, who left, like, he kind of left, like, notes behind for him to, to figure it out, right? There's always someone that, that, that figured it out. So the guy, Mr., Mr., or Mrs., figured it out. So they already know. They already know what is to happen. They, you know, not what's going to happen, but they already know what's going on. They, they are the mentor for these kids. Now, guys, keep in mind one thing, right? Not all time travel movies are kids. Okay? Groundhog Day. Now, guys, keep in mind what, you know, what they do. Terminology. We have time travel. Verse, can anyone guess? In their head, can anyone guess? What's the debate? Time travel versus time loop. Loop. Time loop is Groundhog Day. Help, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the day, September 26, 2019. Get me out. GMO, GMO, GMO. What do you mean GMO? Not genetically mod modified organisms. We mean GMO. We mean get me out. Okay? So when we mean get me out, that movie is saying, okay, what can I do in this day, in this loop, to get me out of the loop? That is also really tough to explain. So, again, it's really, it's really hard to make, to, make, to make this video very short. So bear with me here. But time loop, guys, keep in mind, when we're making a movie too, we have to realize one thing. Oh my God, time travel, dude, oh, it's so cool. But why? You have to have a good story explaining why this occurs, okay? So if you're doing Back to the Future, if you're doing Time Loop, Groundhog Day, if you're doing different movies, explain why that's happening. So if, you know, if, this notebook, okay? If this notebook or this folder is what makes me time travel. Why? Why? What is special about this notebook? Is it because there was magic dust on it? Is it because it was from Albert Einstein? Is it because um, this is, this somehow is connected to someone else? So you have to explain to the audience why. Why are we going back in time, right? There's always gonna be a function for going back in time or going to the future, right? Unless it was accidental, which some movies are an accidental time travel movie, which they, didn't, they, they don't realize they're time travel until they are, right? Kind of like this. There was one movie called, I can't, I can't think of the title, hold on. I got it. It's called Dark. Dark is where there is time travel by people going into caves. Okay. That's so cool. That's so cool. People go into cave. They time travel. Right? That, that's a clock. That's a clock. Okay. You know, six, nine, three, twelve. But why? What does the cave have? What? What, what, what? What makes the cave 
Not how did they time travel? I get it. The car, the notebook, the cave. That's what makes me time travel. But why? Why? What and why makes, you know, what is it about the caves? Why the caves? What's in it? And it's so hard. It's hard. It's tough stuff. It's tough to make a realistic, you know, not fairy dust or not something too out of the ordinary. Something that's actually cool. Something that actually makes it cool for this to be time travelable, right? So, but there's still one thing in this video that you guys are all dying to wait to, to, to know. And that is what shuts down time travel? What shuts down time travel in movies? I'll explain it right now. We have these kids, they time travel. And they always have a mentor usually, okay? So let's go ahead and, I don't know, let's do Back to the Future. So Back to the Future has a pretty good plot. We have a guy named Biff Tannen, okay? Biff Tannen, he literally uses, he uses the machine Biff Tannen uses the machine to get him rich. Okay? Now, guys, if you have not seen, if, if, if you guys have not seen Back to the Future, I want to say two, then please don't watch this video anymore. I don't, I don't want to spoil the plot. Okay. Biff Tannen. He used he uses a time machine, okay, to get him rich. But there's a problem. If Biff is in 2010, okay, or you know 2019, and we'll say he tra we'll say he travels to the future. Let's say he travels to the future just to check on his old self. Or we'll say Mike. Just it, it, Mike, Biff, Sal, Steve. That, it, it, guys, it doesn't matter who it is, right? If they travel into the future to see themselves, who lived who lived when they were gone? Who lived when they were gone? So it's a very, very deep question. Does not exist. It cannot happen. So I will explain one more time. I'm Matt Kennedy, okay? If I want to time travel right now 50 years, to see myself at 68 years old. If I right now, I am Matt Kennedy, okay? I have my folder, okay? I am right now ready to time travel, all right? Three, two, one, boom! I time travel, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, okay? BJSU, okay, college people, uh, my, my roommates, my classes, I'm gone. I'm not here anymore. I'm gone. I'm not here. I'm gone. I time travel. So if I time travel to 2059, right? That did, did I really mess that up? I did. To 2068, okay? Who lived my path? Does that make sense? If I literally am right now in the present and this is my lifeline, this is future. What if I, Matthew Kennedy, if I jump to the future? If I go to the future and to see myself, who the fuck lived this life? 
who was there? Who was there? Because I'm not here anymore. If I'm not, if I leave, if I leave right now, I leave, I time travel, and I go 50 years into the future, who is there? Who is there in my present time to continue my life? Because if I leave in the, in the machine to go 50 years, who was left behind? Is there another Matthew Kennedy that somehow lived and simulated my life? That way I can see myself in the future does not exist. Okay? Because nobody was there in the present. Because I left the present. I left the present to see the future who is there to live? Okay. Nobody thinks of these things. But it's a big reason of why time travel movies are really hard to you know, make. Because there's so many things that are just can't happen, stop, can't happen, stop, can't happen, stop. But some things we just accept. We think that it can happen just to make the movie, you know. Thank you for watching, I hope this really makes sense, and peace.